This week on the Double T Insider, we shine light on Red Raider track and field sprinter Sierra White in this week's Red Raider Spotlight. We go inside the ring to learn how to throw shot put in this week's Don't Sweat the Technique. And we give you an inside look at club athletics, beginning with club lacrosse. All that and a whole lot more. This is the Double T Insider. Hello and welcome into another edition of the Double T Insider. I'm Brett Brown alongside Caitlin Kravick, bringing you more access into Texas Tech Athletics. This week, the Double T Insider sat down with track and field star Sierra White. Here's the inside look at the junior sprinter from Philadelphia. I'm Sierra White from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm a junior and I'm a sprinter. It just started out as something fun, you know, I was just running around the gym in elementary school and I liked it, so then after that I kept running in middle school and then around high school got a little bit more serious and I started like running really fast so college people started recruiting me and then I ended up here. I wanted to go somewhere that was different like a lot of my friends from high school went to schools that were close by like Penn State and stuff like that so I wanted to be a little different and I just went outside my comfort zone and went a little further from home and I felt more comfortable here than any other school. I like the environment, I like the people, so that's, how, that's why I chose Texas Tech. My most memorable race was the Big 12 championship because I didn't know that I was going to win. Like I, I hoped to win and I've been, I was doing really good all season, but it hit me because it was just like I was just a sophomore and that whole year was just great for me. And so for me to make that big accomplishment, it was just so exciting. I would say my biggest motivation is my family. My aunt actually called me the other day, and she was like, you know what, Sierra, we love you so much, so we just want you to keep doing this for you. We have so much faith in you, and I know that all these people believe in me, so I just want to make them proud. I just want to keep progressing every week. I want to run faster than I have indoor and outdoors. I would like to become a conference champion again and possibly a national champion. Usually the night before, I'm just really relaxed. I eat and there's nothing like really that I change from my daily routine. When I'm on the line, I close my eyes and I just take some deep breaths and I think about how better you want this. You want to run fast, like I don't want to lose. So I just think about running fast and doing what I know will help me win by doing what my coach tells me to do. Sometimes I do get a little nervous, but at the end of the day, I know I'm just trying to make myself better. So I just want to keep progressing every week. So I try not to focus on anybody else. When I cross the finish line, all I can think about is the time. It's like, I'm not running against the op my opponents, I'm, rush I'm racing against the clock. So I just think about, well, how fast did I run? If I didn't run as fast as I wanted to, what can I do to make it faster? Um, I plan to keep on running, so I hope I have the opportunity to do that. I hope I just keep running fast so I can get an agent, get a nice contract, and go to the Olympics one day. The Double T Insider takes a look at the Texas Tech Club Lacrosse team. Check it out. So it'd be my freshman year of high school. Um, at the time, my best buddy's um, dad, he was from New York, and he was really interested in getting the lacrosse team going in New Mexico. Um, he was on a whole lot of lacrosse in New Mexico. Um, so he, he came to me and said, hey man, let's start a lacrosse team. I said, yeah, let's do it. I was in fourth grade, so I think I was 10 years old or 9 years old. Um, and you know, in Texas, that's not, you know, that's, that's pretty young age to start, usually starts like fifth grade or up. Um, you know, up in the north, they start way younger, you know, all through grade school and stuff. And uh, here in Texas, it's not a school sport. So, you know, all the way up elementary school, up through high school, it's mostly club unless you go to like a nice private school or something. So there are some things that are better at high in the high school level. Um, you had your parents' support, you know, um, financially, that was a huge um, help. And then also, you didn't have as much schoolwork. So in college, you have a lot more schoolwork. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer, so I'm always swamped with stuff on the weekends to do group projects. So balancing that in college is a little bit harder than balancing it in high school. 
Um, but in college, I do have a little bit, um, a little bit bigger team. Um, players a little bit more experienced, so that's nice too. Well, it's actually the high school is more structured than you would think than than college is, because uh, in high school, you know, your parents are running a lot of it. They, you know, can fund a lot of the money for the sport and all that stuff. And uh, in college, you know, it's it's mostly the kids, you know, on their own, who are running the team, you know, managing it, you know. I, all the kids who um, have positions on the team, like you know, president, treasurer, all that kind of thing, they're all actually players on the team. You know, we just have to run through the Texas Tech Rec Sports. We have a president, vice president, treasurer, um, rookie coordinator. We have a secretary, which is what I am. I just send out uh, basically send out emails and text messages to you know communicate everything to everybody. Right? Yeah. And basically, the president and the vice president just are you know a liaison with the with the rec sports in terms of, you know, paying their dues, budgeting, you know, all the technical stuff that they have to do. I'm the treasurer for the team, and so that um, involves kind of making the budget with the vice president and the president and then presenting it to our school every year. Um, and I'm also responsible for collecting dues from the entire team and making sure that we're on track with that. Um, and then on addition to the, the budget, we have to find ways that we can get whatever we need for that year. So this year we really need a net to back up our goals so we can start doing more shooting during practice. So we're looking for the next few years, how are we going to adjust your budget so we can make some money for that. On this team, I'm, I'm, I'm an offensive guy. So uh, on my other teams that I used to play on, you know, I was a midfielder, which is offense and defense. But uh, on different teams, you play different positions. And here I just play offense. So I, I usually just sit back and let the midfielders do the work. And I just score the goals whenever they need me to as much as I can. So like Taylor, I play attack also. Um, so I guess my best skills would be catching and passing and shooting. My junior and senior year in high school, we won state championships back to back, and that was by far the, the best time of my life with lacrosse. Um, it was just so great to do it one year, and then the next year we actually went undefeated on top of that. Um, just seeing how, how much that brought the team together and the sense of pride everyone got from it, um, I think that was really cool. My favorite at Texas Tech was when we traveled down to Louisiana last spring break, I think it was at the beginning of spring break. We only had 10 players on the field last year when we didn't have as many players. And, uh, you know, Keegan made a speech that was like, you know, how many players we got? Ten. Uh, how many do we need? Ten. And so we like went out there and we uh, actually had a pretty good game. And that's what it's all about, you know, playing in college. Yeah. After the break, we're coming back with Don't Sweat the Technique featuring Shot Put. And later, Luke Heath brings you our best tweets of the week. But first, here's your Texas Tech trivia question. Red Raider Baseball won three out of four games against third-ranked Indiana on opening weekend. What was the last year that Red Raider Baseball won a series against a team ranked in the top five? Is it A, 2006, B, 2007, C, 2008, or D, 2009? The answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week will be coming up later in the show. Stay tuned, because after the break we'll be coming back with more of the Double T Insider. This is you. You want to be a director in Hollywood? Maybe you want to capture someone's attention on a 30-second spot. Maybe you'd rather be a social media manager, or you want to sit behind the World News Desk. You can do that here at the College of Media and Communication at Texas Tech University with a degree in advertising, electronic media, journalism, media strategies, or public relations. From here, it's possible. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. This week, we get a few shot put pointers from Texas Tech's Cole Weldon in Don't Sweat the Technique. Dylan Smythe here with the Double T Insider. I'm here with Cole Weldon. He is the record holder in the shot put, and he's gonna show me how to throw. All right, so basically, I do the rotational shot put. I, uh, I spin out of the bag. Um, what I do is I start this way. If I'm throwing this way, I'm gonna face away, right? It's very simple, it's a wine, so I'll put a shot put to my, to my neck. Mm -hmm. It's just a simple wine. And then as I go, I want to be stable over the left side so I'll be able to rotate and enter the ring. Okay. Well, as soon as I start, I'll be stable and I want to rotate underneath my left foot and come around as far as I can. And I want to stop, wait on my right, and as I switch, that's what we call it, is we transition from the back to the front of the ring. Mm -hmm. I want to switch, catch my right leg underneath me, catch the shot put back, so then I'm able to drive through, all the way through, punch it. And then the key is being able to punch it and there's a toe board at the front. You want to be able to punch it 
and be able to pull yourself back in the ring to save the throw. Okay. That's basically what you're going through from start to finish. So if you go out of the ring, it's like a penalty? Yes, if you okay. step anywhere outside of the ring, it is, it's a foul. So right. they will not measure your mark, it's not a legal mark. Okay. All right, well, if you wanna show us how it's done. Yeah, yeah but basically, you know, you can put your feet as wide or narrow as you want. I usually go about shoulder width apart just because that's, you know, that, that feels comfortable to me. I just placed the shot put uh, just, just kind of stable enough that you can hold it without it falling down as you spin. But not too firm? Well, you want to put it in a position that at the end you're able to push through it. Okay. You don't want to put it too low or too high to where you can't push through the shot. So I just do my simple wind. As I wind, all I'm going to do is stable over the left, rotate, and then throw through. So the power in your throat, is it comes from your legs? Well, it's between three things. It's linear, coming across the ring, mm -hmm. vertical, so I load my legs so at the end, I can use vertical power, okay. right? And then rotational. The point of putting all three of these together is to generate as much energy, because this, this is a longer technique. Mm -hmm. You know, watch, look how far my right leg's going. And then I catch it over here, pulled in, I can come to the shop with it. So I have more time to generate more speed and energy across the ring, that's why I like to okay. uh, I guess I'll give it a try, okay. see how it goes. Okay, you want to come in, right leg in the middle of the ring, and then step the left down here. Okay, so yeah. let me see the turn. That's okay. Right, left, oh, okay. see that? Okay, so it's gonna be right, left, left, there you go. Okay, all right, let's try this out. Oh, now, um, is this how everybody does it, or is it no, the different there, techniques? There is the traditional glide. Pretty much, it's very simple. You come out of the bag, you start uh, just with one foot in the middle, you push off and across, and then you push through. So it's the same thing. You just get set up one foot at the back of the ring, put it on your neck, right? Okay. You're gonna load your leg, and then you're gonna push. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, slid across the ring, push it like that. Kind of like thing, a glide. You want your right leg in the middle, left here, so then you can finish pushing your right leg through and then deliver the shot. Okay. Okay. I bet you this one will be easier. All right. You start with your feet right, right uh, here. Right leg, right leg right here. There you go. Just okay. Like that. Cool. And then just push off the slide across the All right. Let's try it. I'd say that was an improvement. All right. So how far can you throw it? Uh, right now, my uh, personal best is 65, 11, and 3 points. Okay. Got and that's the school record? Yes, that is. Very impressive. All right. All right, well, um, for the Double T Insider, I'm Dylan Smythe, this is Cole Weldon, and this has been Don't Sweat the Technique. This week, the Double T Insider goes on the clock with Randy on Wasor. Find out what Randy's favorite selfie pose is, and much more. Double T Insider here, and we're about to go on the clock with Randy on Wasor a game where I give him 10 scenarios that he has to answer to the best of his ability, all within 60 seconds. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock, please. My favorite superhero as a kid was? SpongeBob. If I won the lottery, the first thing I would buy would be? A house. If I could have any superpower, it would be to? Dang. <laughs> uh, fly. If I could play for any team in the NBA, it would be the? Clippers. Before every game, I have to? Pray. If I could meet any celebrity, it would be? Lil Wayne. The best meal I can cook is? Spaghetti. If I could travel anywhere in the world, it would be to? Bahamas. My favorite selfie pose is? <laughs> the last movie that made me cry was? Oh, <laughs> Pursuit to Happiness. All right, well, congratulations. You beat the clock for the Double T Insider. I'm Caitlin Kravick, and we just went on the clock. After the break, we're coming back with our best tweets of the week. But first, let's take another look at our Texas Tech trivia question. Have you figured out the answer to this week's trivia question? Earlier, we asked, what was the last year that Red Raider baseball won a series against a team ranked in the top five? Your options were A, 2006, B, 2007, C, 
2008 or D 2009? If you haven't gotten the answer yet, we'll give you some more time to think it over. The correct answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week will be coming up later in the show. Don't go away, because there's more Double T Insider coming up after the break. This is you. You want to be a director in Hollywood? Maybe you want to capture someone's attention on a 30-second spot. Maybe you'd rather be a social media manager, or you want to sit behind the world news desk. You can do that here at the College of Media and Communication at Texas Tech University with a degree in advertising, electronic media, journalism, media strategies, or public relations. From here, it's possible. Each week for the Double T Insider, we pick the best tweets about Texas Tech athletics and air them on our show. This week, we're featuring tweets about Red Raider baseball and Texas Tech basketball. Former Tech baseball player Rusty Shellhorn tweeted, Wow, great work, TTU baseball, on the doubleheader sweep over number three Indiana. Proud alum over here. Hashtag wreck em, hashtag guns up, and hashtag road to Omaha. And Tech student Tyler Meadow tweeted, Great start to the baseball season for Tech with a 3-1 series win over number three Indiana. Hashtag guns up. And Tech student Jacqueline Breanne tweeted, What a close game. Still proud of the boys. Our basketball program has come a long way. Hashtag guns up. Be sure to check back with us next week for more tweets when yours could just be the one chosen. Now, here's a look at the upcoming games for Texas Tech Athletics. Monday, Texas Tech baseball ends their home stretch as they battle BYU at Rip Griffin Park. First pitch is set for 1 p.m. Tuesday, Red Raider basketball will face Kansas State at the United Spirit Arena. Tip-off is set for 6 p.m. and can be seen on ESPN2. Wednesday, Lady Raider basketball will be in Morgantown in a matchup with West Virginia. Tip-off is scheduled at 6 p.m. Thursday, Red Raider baseball travels for the first time as they face Stephen F. Austin and Nacogdoches. First pitch is set for 12.30 p.m. Friday, Red Raider baseball travels to Houston to compete in the Houston College Classic at Minute Maid Park. Tech begins the three-day tournament by playing the University of Houston. First pitch is set for 12.05 p.m. Texas Tech track and field will travel to Ames, Iowa Friday to compete in the two-day Big 12 Indoor Championship. Events are scheduled to last all day. Saturday, Red Raider Tennis will travel to Wichita, Kansas to play Wichita State. First serve is set for noon. Red Raider Baseball continues competing in the Houston College Classic Saturday and plays Sam Houston State. First pitch is set for 12.05 p.m. Texas Tech basketball travels to Waco on Saturday to play Baylor. Tip-off is set for 12.30 p.m. and can be seen on the Big 12 Network. Lady Raider basketball will play Texas at the United Spirit Arena Saturday. The Lady Raiders defeated the Longhorns in last year's meeting at the USA. First tip is set for 2 p.m. Sunday, Lady Raider tennis travels to Waco to take on Baylor. First serve is set for 1 p.m. Red Raider Baseball concludes the Houston College Classic Sunday and will play Rice. First pitch is set for 1.35 p.m. And finally, here's your answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. It's time to reveal the answer to the Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. Earlier in our show, we asked, what was the last year that Red Raider Baseball won a series against a team ranked in the top five? Your options were A, 2006, B, 2007, C, 2008, or D, 2009. The correct answer is C, 2008. In 2008, Texas Tech baseball defeated number two ranked Missouri in a three game series at Dan Law Field inside Rip Griffin Park. This has been your Texas Tech trivia question of the week. If you didn't get this week's question right, no worries. Next week we'll be back with even more Texas Tech trivia, along with another edition of the Double T Insider. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of the Double T Insider. Thank you so much for watching. 
Be sure to tune in Wednesday for our DTI Weekly Update on Texas Tech Athletics. And as always, be sure to like the Double T Insider on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and go to youtube.com slash Double T Insider to watch all of our episodes. For Brett Brown, I'm Caitlin Kravick. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.